Okay, well I've gotten a lot of questions about this antenna uh, based on my last video and I thought rather than uh, write a bunch of individual responses I would just uh, make a video. This is a buddy stick and it comes from the great guys at Buddy Pole. They're very close to my location here in Portland. They work out of their shop in Hillsboro. I'm using this right now on 10 meters which is very active and a lot of fun. Yesterday I got into Chicago, Illinois and Anchorage, Alaska and the day prior you probably noticed from my video that I posted I talked to a good buddy K4PAD in Jacksonville, Florida and I also talked to a ham in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Now that's the farthest contact I've made with ham radio yet and it was just an absolute thrill especially when I looked out the window from our second story home where I've got my radio upstairs in our bedroom and I looked out on this little antenna was uh, adequate for me to make a good contact or QSO all the way to South America 6,700 miles away. So let me go over this antenna real quick. Now the one thing I like about this and just so you know my particular situation where I live you're not allowed to have a tower and um, if I could talk my wife into it, I sure would love to have a tower. Maybe that's in my future. So right now, I set this antenna up when I want to get on the air. And the other thing that's valuable for me is I do a lot of traveling. So I take my antenna and radio with me frequently when I'm heading over into Central Oregon. Or even when I go on business trips or family vacations, I'll put a radio in my suitcase and take a portable antenna. Now the one thing I like about this particular antenna, it all fits in this satellite communications bag that I picked up from County Com. So I can put the antenna, the tripod, and the mast in this bag. It goes over my shoulder, very easy to carry, and very easy to set up. Okay, the antenna is pretty easy to deploy. Basically extend the legs. And you can see this antenna is pretty lightweight. I'm just holding it with one hand. It, um, weighs just a couple of pounds. Once the tripod legs are deployed, I'll set it down here on the patio. And then this is the coax I just have running out of our bedroom window. And we'll hook that into the bottom of the buddy stick. Okay, let me give you a quick rundown of this buddy stick. So this is the adapter plate and it's held on the mast with a threaded stud and that stud basically is an adapter that threads on the end of the uh, extendable mast and this is half inch iron pipe thread you screw the adapter on which gives you quarter twenty threaded stud right there. The adapter plate just sits on top of there and then you have a soft handled nut that just basically keeps that secure. This is the small stud where the counterpoise sits right on that quarter 20 stud. And then this course is the base of the flexible whip. All right, the next step is to hook the counterpoise up. And for 10 meters, roughly seven feet that I have strung out off of this kite winder. And that just mounts on a little threaded stud at the base of the buddy stick. Once the antenna's up, I'll run this out with a piece of paracord and I'll just support it from a little hook that's over on our garage wall. Right, the next step is to elevate the mast. And this is just a very nice flex whip antenna. Next step, extend the mast.
Okay, right about at this point, before I do the other three sections of the mast, I'll pick up our paracord line. And I just keep 25 feet of paracord on a kite winder. This just clips into a small carabiner on the counterpoise kite winder. All right, at the very top there you can see the base of the buddy stick and then the extendable whip going up from there.